be your early impressions so far of Oregon just being here? Uh, you know, it's just Oregon. You know, it's a dream school of mine. Uh, sometimes I have to pinch myself to, you know, remind myself that I'm really here. And it's just like uh, I'm impressed by, like, the coaching and the players. Like, everybody is really um, dialed in, and uh, they, take it, they take everything serious. Where have you seen yourself just improve over the course of this fall camp? Um, learning a new position. Uh, I've been uh, switching from corner to the nickel back, the nickel back. and uh, just learning that is a big improvement for me because uh, I've only been learning uh, corner for two years of college, and so um, you know, moving closer to the ball is uh, very is very improving for me because uh, I never thought I'd be able to do that, but I'm doing good with that. Who's, who's been helping you out moving the nickel? Um, like a guiding light no too. guys that's played the position uh, and all the coaches and get in my playbook as well too. The guy who had a couple of tackles for loss even last season as an outside guy. Gonzo is a guy who did that at Colorado. So much pride do you take in that? Where corners usually don't get a lot of tackles for loss. It's just not really a position that offers that. But you do. You've mm -hmm. already you already bring that to the table. So much pride do you take in being able to make disruptive plays in the back? Uh, field? You know, a lot of people think that corners uh, aren't good tacklers and that they don't want to tackle. But, uh, you know, you have to be different. You have to change that uh, that narrative. So uh, coming to make a tackle is a lot of, uh, is the thing I take pride in because uh, you don't get that many opportunities if you're, out, uh, if you're out there on the island and covering people for every play. Uh, sometimes making a tackle, you uh, try to get yourself more involved in the game and get, make you stay locked in. So, yeah. I hear a lot from players about how difficult this scheme is to learn. A lot of verbiage, it's challenging. There's a guy coming in from it. What, what's been the biggest challenge in learning this defense and, and how much simulated pressure experience did you have from uh, Colorado? Like I said, uh, learning star. So um, the um, playbook has been uh, uh, kind of complicated for me to learn because, uh, you know, learning just corner, um, you know, you, I have this guy right here, but, um, you know, the defense is kind of evolving around the, uh, the nickel, the nickel back and uh, the nickel really uh, does a lot for the defense. Uh, you know, you have to know what side of the field you're supposed to be on. Um, uh, I, I blitz a lot more than I usually do at uh, corner, so uh, it was just it was just uh, com just complicated for me to learn the playbook uh, for for nickel and at corner because uh, I never did that. But uh, I'll take on the challenge. So yeah. Is that always the plan when you came here? Nickel would be something you would be doing, or was that byproduct of you just excelling and trying it out in spring ball or something? Uh, I feel like they just knew that. Uh, I was versatile, so I could play outside and inside. And I feel like uh, we have great corners, so um, they um, you know, want to try to get some uh, smaller guys or some more versatile guys in that nickel back. So, yeah. Do you have a preference? Uh, now, I feel like I don't because uh, I'm a lot closer to the ball than I thought I'd be. Um, at corner, you sometimes get bored, but at nickel, you always moving around. But um, I always like corner just because I played it for two years. and. I just like uh, being on an island. So at, at nickel in particular, do you prefer if you're lined up formation into the boundary and the short side, or do you want to match up with the speed guy to the to the wide side of the field? Uh, speed guy, just because I know that's uh, where the ball is going most of the time. They try to get to the speed guys. You know that's what they're out there for a reason. So uh, why not cover them? You know. You're lining up one on ones in practice. Who you most want to go against? Have you developed any good rivalries with some of the receivers here? Uh, I feel like all the receivers are very good matchups, so I try to get in with uh, everybody, anybody I can get because all the receivers are uh, really good. So it's like uh, you're never going to lose. Um, you're never going to not get any work with any of the receivers. So if you're lined up mainly in the slot, what's it like going against Tez and Gary? Oh, man, Tez is quick. He's fast. And, uh, sometimes it's hard to uh, read his hip because he's already, uh, you know, he's, he's already low to the ground and he's moving uh, really fast. So it's like kind of hard for me to – uh, stay locked into him and he's quick. I haven't really been learning the position at nickel is something new for me and I really have to learn the technique to play inside and, and guarding guys like that because mainly I have like a sideline helping me and stuff like that but now I have like a whole field so it's like working with Tez he has the whole field to work so that's good.